Good morning everyone and welcome back to Stranded Deep. So if you're new, welcome to the channel. So today we've got a very interesting topic and that is what you can plant in Stranded Deep. So I came across six of these different things you can plant, but I am missing one. But honestly, I can't find it on PC. So it is almost like the Kura. Let me show you guys quick. When you do open your crafting menu and you go to consumables, if you scroll down here, it is this one right over here, a Juwawa fruit. I don't know, I've been looking for it everywhere and I cannot find it, but if you do find it, you'll be able to plant it as well. So currently over here, we have got a few of the basic things and I would just like to run through them with you and tell you if they respawn, if they don't respawn, if you can eat them and what they do and etc. So right over here, we got the Ajuga plant. So I'm just going to pick it up and here it is in my hand. So technically you can, wait, 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 where is it? There we go. So technically what you can do with it is you can make a breath booster. Right over here, you're going to need one coconut flask and this is going to help you to stay longer underwater. So it's obviously going to help you guys out so much with the boss fights. So I don't think you can eat it like this. No, you can't. So next to that, it is pretty useless, but it's still good to have one of these plots, especially for them. Moving over, we have got the Alu plant. The Alu plant is actually really good. It helps you with your sunburn. As you all know, the SPF at the bottom. Uh, it's technically what happens is if the sun is too high, your guy actually burns up a little bit. And yeah, this is just like a sunscreen just to protect you a little bit. It's just so that obviously you don't get dehydrated much quicker. And also the good news is you can make and a loose sulfur as well so there's two ways either you can actually eat it like i just did now i don't think that tastes really good but yes if you do look at your arm okay it doesn't do it now I'm probably gonna have to do the a loose salt with the coconut flask but you can actually see your arm will get some white spots on it which is pretty cool like i personally uh personally never knew that so it is pretty cool and obviously if you want to make one you're just going to go over here you're going to need two of them with one coconut flask so moving on, we have got our yucca trees. So obviously for all the console players, you guys cannot plant them, unfortunately. But do coming over here, I just want to show you guys where you can find them. So usually they're on this stick over here. They just stand out. So I've got a few more trees. Let's just see if I can find one, maybe. I've got a feeling that if you actually picked it once of a tree, you won't find it again. So let's just see. I've got another tree over here. Come on. Alright, it fell down, but it's not there. Okay, but let me go and get a seed quickly because I do keep the seeds in these container crates over here. I think it's the bottom one seeds and there they are. So I'm just going to try to hold it in place so you guys can see because I'm getting so many comments regarding this and I would like to clear it off. So there we go. So technically here it is and you will find it. Oh gosh, if this is not working. Come on. There we go. And you'll find it being stuck somewhere up here. So if you can actually like misinterpret it for like being just a part of the tree. But yeah, it is somewhere stuck over there. So you can just pick it off. You can take it obviously. And you can go plant it as simple as that. So there is a little bit difference between the two. Let me just go over here. So yeah, you can just go and plant it over there. So it's pretty easy and it's pretty cool. So as you guys know, you get fibrous leaves from this. And you can also like make a lashing with them. And you can use them for water stills and smokers and etc. as well. So moving on, we have got the famous potatoes. So these potatoes you can actually eat, which is pretty cool. So if your hunger is down, just munch a few of them. But honestly, I would not waste potatoes like that. So let me just say it like that before I get so much hate. Potatoes in this game is very, very difficult to come by. I'm not gonna lie, this is how the plant looks over here. And I've got another plant over here. But you can just like walk past this potato plant and hardly even see it. Especially if you're like trying to view in a distance, but you don't actually look down at your feet. So getting these potatoes are extremely, extremely important. They help you out of your fuel still. And as the game continues, you're gonna have to make yourself a gyrocopter or especially these motor raft boats. And you're going to need a lot of potatoes for a lot of fuel because fuel in this game is really expensive, like super, super expensive. So anyway, there's the potatoes. I just want to let you guys know that if you do pick it up like I just did and you leave it or you decide to actually go and store them away, maybe they are going to despawn. They are technically going to go bad, maybe spoiled or something, and they're going to despawn. So make sure either you eat them or you put them in your fuel stills. 
So when you do put them in your fuel stalls, they will not disappear. They will be there forever. So that's a good thing. Rather than putting them in a crate or just eating them because you don't want them to disappear, just make yourself a fuel stall and put them in there. So moving on, we have got the Cura fruit. So honestly, I hardly even use this fruit. Um, if you do look, I have one of these plants somewhere over here as well. Here it is, right over here. So usually you get Cura fruits in this uh, in these plants, but also once you do pick them on these specific plants, they unfortunately do not grow back. So make sure if you do take one, you plant it immediately. Also, I think they do despawn, as I told you guys that I've technically never even used these ones. So yeah, just make sure if you do pick them, that you eat them and etc and etc. So do know that if you do plant them in a farming plot, they are gonna regrow, so that's a good thing. Even the potatoes, which is over here, there we go. I'm just gonna eat it because I'm gonna have to restart my game anyway because I had to destroy my entire farming area just to show you guys, but it doesn't matter. As you guys know, I always like to help you guys out. So next to that, we have got our PP plant. So the PP plant is the most important thing I can say in this game. If you get poisoned, such as by these, what do they call them? Thorn, crown, thorn, starfish, or whatever. Like, yeah, if you get poisoned <sighs> with them, good. you're gonna have to make yourself an antidote. So I think I've got an antidote somewhere over here. Anyway, there's a coconut flask. You can just go and make yourself an antidote. As you guys can see, I'm poisoned. And I'm all good now. So yes, these PV plants are extremely, extremely important. So definitely do make sure you plant at least one of them. I've been actually like getting so many PP plants. I think it's at the bottom. I already got six of them. And yeah, so if I do get poisoned, I'm not even scared or afraid or anything. My opinion is plant as many potato plants as you can. So maybe have about six potato plants. In the beginning, it might seem a little bit rough to get six. But if you have six, you'll be sorted for life. And maybe then you can have like one or two of these yucca trees because I mean next to the lashing you don't really need it. Even these ones they are for food purposes only. Like for example you can actually craft a gaze with it um, but then you're going to need this guava fruit. So yeah I can't find a guava fruit anywhere in this game so for me to actually try to save up all my fruits over here and with the guava fruit and just to make a flask out of it, it for me it's going to be a waste. For the people that does not know, for the gaze, where's my crafting menu? Sorry guys, I'm just talking zigzag, but anyway, the gaze is similar to your bandages. So if you've got bandages, you don't need the gaze. If you've got the gaze, you don't need the bandages. So similar thing, so honestly, this I'll just use for as fruit. And then obviously, a juga, if you do like spending a lot of time under the water, especially for example, you want to go out and get some clay. The Juga plant is really, really good to have. Also, I would recommend a shark per, uh, repellent as well. I think it's this one over here. There we go, a shark repellent as well. So if you do go out in the water, you're going to have an extreme amount of breath. Also, the sharks are going to stay away from you. But unfortunately, you can't plant a lionfish. So that's the sad thing about it. But anyway, guys, there we go. So there is the six plants. If I did miss anyone, please do let me know in the comments below. I would really, really appreciate it. But anyway, anyway, guys, if you guys did enjoy it, please do drop a big like. If you guys would love to support the channel, hit the logo at the bottom right corner to subscribe. If you guys would love to see a similar video, hit the icon on the left. If you guys want to see my most recent video, hit the icon on the right. And then I'll see all of you legends in my next video. But for now, stay good, stay healthy, stay happy, and cheers.